engineer at Love's Club. Today I will show you how to create a decorative groovy pipeline in Jenkins. So let's get started. Declarative groovy pipeline with Jenkins. How we are going to build it, let's understand with the help of a diagram. This is declarative groovy pipeline architecture. In our example, we have four stages in our pipeline. Checkout, build, test and deploy. For checkout, we are using GitHub SCM tool. As it is a Java application, the build will be done using Maven. Some JUnit test cases will be executed. And finally, the deployment will be done on Apache Tomcat server. How will this happen? Developers will commit the code in GitHub. GitHub will trigger a job in Jenkins which is integrated with GitHub with a GitHub webhook integration. Jenkins in turn will read a Jenkins file placed in the root directory of the code and will build a CI CD pipeline. In the architecture, there are four key actors. Developers, GitHub, Jenkins server and deployment server. We'll see how and what all configuration settings we need at each tool. GitHub, Jenkins tool and deployment server. Let's see the requirements for deployment server first. We need a server with Tomcat installed in it and we should verify the installation on browser. In our example, let me show you. This is our web server. Public IP is this. And I have my Tomcat running on port 9090. By default, when we install Tomcat on the server, it runs on port 8080. In that case, you would just need to replace this IP with, the, with your server IP and port 9090 with port 8080. Now let's see the requirements for Jenkins server. In Jenkins, we need some plugins, GitHub plugin, pipeline and SSH agent. We need to do global tool configuration for Maven and SSH agent configuration for Tomcat server. Let's see how I have done it. This is our Jenkins server hosted on this IP and running on port 8080. In order to install the plugins, you can install them from Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins. For global tool configuration, navigate to Jenkins, manage Jenkins, global tool configuration, scroll down, under Maven section, I have the Maven 3 dot 5 dot 4 installed for SSH agent navigate to credentials I have the Tomcat server 
SSH agent configured. I've pasted a private key for this server. This is the unique ID being generated from Jenkins and this is the name of the credential. Now let's see what all settings we need at GitHub tool. Webhook, Jenkins file, pom.xml. Let's navigate to GitHub repo. This is my GitHub repo which has my Java application code. Navigate to settings. Click on webhooks. I have the webhook for my Jenkins server already added. You can go ahead and add a webhook in the same format I have added for my Jenkins server. You may observe that this IP is same as the Jenkins server IP. GitHub code. In the root directory, we have a Jenkins file. Jenkins file is written in Groovy. We have defined four stages as I explained in the architecture. Checkout, build, test and deploy. Checkout is mentioning the repo URL. Build is using the Maven tool installed in Jenkins and running the command mvn package test stage is using the maven tool installed in jenkins and running the command mvn test deploy stage is connecting to the ssh agent this is the same id which is being generated from jenkins for Tomcat server credentials and we are running the command scp copying the war file from the local server that is Jenkins server to the Tomcat server in the directory which is default for Tomcat. Now pom.xml navigate to the root directory pom.xml scroll down we have a final name which we would need to modify at the time of demo. This name will be the name of the war file which will be deployed on the Tomcat web server. Let's go ahead and see the demo. Open Jenkins, navigate to its home page, click on new item, we will give name to our pipeline, select pipeline, ok. Select the GitHub project, copy 
the URL of the repo. Click on it. This will give you the URL for the repo. Paste project URL. Scroll down. Select the GitHub hook trigger for Git SCM polling. Under pipeline section, select pipeline script for SCM. Under SCM, select Git. The repository URL, paste the same URL of the repo. Click Save. Let's run the pipeline once manually. Click on Build Now. Build is triggered. All the phases are being executed. Check out, build, test and deploy. All the stages are completed successfully. Let's see the result. Click on console output. This shows the log. The GitHub repo is being called. Build command is executed. Test command is executed. Build is success. Deploy stage. Deploy command is executed. The name of the war file taken from the pom.xml. Just copy this. On the Tomcat server, forward slash after port 1990 paste the name of the war file and click enter our java application is deployed successfully so this is the Java application for which we have code in GitHub. Moving back to Jenkins, on the job, now let's see how we can trigger it automatically. Move to GitHub, scroll down, open pom.xml, click on edit, scroll down, change name for war file, Copy it, scroll down, commit changes, navigate to Jenkins and observe that the build is triggered automatically. Let the build complete. Build is successful. Let's see the results.
console output all the four stages are run our war file is deployed navigate to the tomcat server replace the name of the war file with the new one paste the new war file name and click enter the same application can be accessed with the name which is given for the war file deployed second time. This way we can build the pipeline and execute all the stages automatically so guys follow this video and create pipeline for your application so this is how we create a fully automated declarative groovy pipeline in jenkins thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe to love's cloud channel